Here you visualize a right shoulder of a college throwing athlete in the lateral decubitus position through the posterior portal. It is evident that there is fraying to the posterior labrum inferiorly, which progresses superiorly to displace labral tissue posterior superiorly. It is also evident that there is fraying to the undersurface of the posterior aspect of the supraspinatus and the anterior aspect of the infraspinatus tendon. Attention is then turned to visualize through the anterior superior portal. The stability of the posterior superior labrum is further evaluated with palpation to ensure that it is stable and does not extend into a slap tear. The rotator cuff is also evaluated and the arm is taken out of traction and placed in an abducted and externally rotated position to mimic the cocking phase of the throwing motion. It is evident from this dynamic arthroscopic evaluation that this pathology is consistent with internal impingement as the undersurface of the rotator cuff impinges on the labrum. A shaver is then introduced through the posterior portal and a debridement of the labrum and rotator cuff is undertaken. The depth of the rotator cuff tear is evaluated and the stability of the labrum is again assessed. Once the offending pain generator is addressed arthroscopically, the athlete is then placed into a highly structured thrower's rehabilitation program prior to returning to play.